Hello everyone, it is I. I want to talk about the curious case of Natalia Grace and Michael and Kristen Barnett. Natalia, I believe, was from the Ukraine. And let's dive into it. I'm going to try to recap to the best of my ability simply because I didn't know much about this story prior to this past week. When it came to light, there was um, a, a documentary done about the complete bizarrity <laughs> surrounding the adoption and what happened afterwards with this family. So Michael and Kristen Barnett had three sons, one of whom was autistic. Kristen, I believe, wrote a book which was meant to help other people with autistic children. And they end up adopting Natalia, who was from the Ukraine, and they were told she was six years old. She came to live with them. They, I believe, took her to Disney. And I think the mom, her new adopted mother, was helping her take a bath or somehow clean up. They discovered she had pubic hair. They were confused. And... She was with them for about two years. They claim that she tried to kill them, um, had knives under her bed, were trying to kill their children. They were afraid they couldn't sleep, that they stood in her, she stood in their room and held the knife and said, I'm going to kill you, that she tried to poison the mom, her adopted mother, that she tried to electrocute her, There's, and so on and so forth. And then over the next couple of years while she was in their custody or in their care, they were able to get her re-aged from then the age of eight to the age of 22. After that time, they took her as quote unquote an adult and put her in an apartment and basically left her there which by law is, I guess, legal to do because of her age, but yet she was a little person or considered to have dwarfism, and she was not capable of doing everything on her own. And so case came to light. Um, she stayed at that apartment for a year. Uh, a lot of the neighbors in that residence her neighbors claim that she was not only an annoyance, but a threat, um, sexually aggressive uh, towards other children, um, would walk into people's homes, go through their refrigerator, and she didn't understand boundaries. And then that lease ended, and mom and dad, Kristen and Michael, took her and put her in a second-story apartment in a duplex, and again, she's dwarf, so it was hard for her to manage getting up and down the stairs, etc., She eventually came to be friends with the family adjacent to her in the same area, and they, an additional family took her in and became her guardians. I can't wrap my head around it because I can't figure out who's telling the truth. The Barnetts are claiming she was abusive to them, threatened to kill them, was etc. And now Natalia, in turn, has stated that she was abused while in their care. And if you watch the series, their son, who their oldest son, who is now an adult, accidentally left his mic on during the interview while he took a break, and he admitted. I think, to kicking her down the stairs. He comes forth and says, because she had accidents around the house due to her disability, the mom, Kristen, made him urinate in her bed. And it just is it's so bizarre, Michael, the dad. I really can't wrap my head around him because he is... Why they were granted custody of this little girl is because, number one, they had money. They presented themselves as normal people that would care for her. They had an autistic son. She was a successful author. 
Obviously, there were no red flags in the home at the time, but I know, according to the admission from the oldest son, Michael, etc., she was abused while in their care. And was she abusive to other people? I'm sure that most likely she was due to her upbringing and what she was succumbed to. Who knows what she went through in the orphanage prior to coming to the United States or wherever she came from. But this by far has me scratching my head because there's a twist at the end that I did not see coming that has to do with the people that eventually adopt were her guardians and eventually adopted her as an adult. I, I, I can't wrap my head around it. I am disgusted by this situation. I don't know what to think of it. I don't know what to make of it. I, I think I'm going to rewatch it because I will have to digest it a little bit at a time because it really does slowly seem to poison your insides. Just hearing it, watching it, taking it all in, trying to digest it. It, it, it is, wow, it is, it permeates it so deep at times that you just don't quite know number one who's telling the truth I, I, I did there's there's experts that come in that look at the footage that say you know this and that I don't know please comment below please tell me what you think I, I don't know I think everyone has a plays a part in dysfunction and this this puts the <laughs> dis F-U-C-K-T-I-O-N. Dysfunction. It's it's the craziest. Um, I've seen some I've seen some stories that really get me, and this one this one really gets me. So, please comment below. Um, tell me your thoughts, and I'll be back.